Hi everybody, welcome to Low Carb 360. I'm back from my break, I know it's been a while, but I'm back from my break and um, I wanted to invite you all to join me on Facebook. The link will be in the description box. And um, speaking about Facebook, Monday I put out the call for suggestions for Thanksgiving recipes that you guys wanted to see. So one of the recipes that was um, requested was apple pie. So today I'm going to be making apple crisp. Now, um, you hear the word apple and you know already that there's a lot of sugar in apple and this is a low carb recipe. So we're going to be using something very different. We're going to be using chayote or Christophine as I know it growing up. So Christophine is low in carb and it's a great substitute for apples. So without further ado, let's begin. So we're about to make the um, pie filling. So I'm going to be using Christophine. I have four of them here. Um, don't forget that in the supermarket it will be listed under Chayote. I think I said it correctly, but um, I know it as Christophine growing up, so I'm just going to continue to call it Christophine um, for the entire recipe. But um, on the website you will see the name that it's referred to as in the supermarket. Okay, enough said. Let me go ahead and um, give you the ingredients for this recipe. For the filling, we're going to be using Splendor Brown Sugar Blend, one cup of apple juice, and this apple juice is flavored with Splendor. Then I'm going to be using unsalted butter, apple pie spice, cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg. Okay, so what I did so far was I used the potato peeler and I peeled the Christophine. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut it down the center in half. Okay guys, so what I did so far was I cut it in half and then I removed the seed with a spoon like this. Um, this is the last one, so I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. It's very easy. You just remove the seed and then what I'm going to do is just like we cut the apple for apple pie, I'm just going to go ahead and slice these for our um, apple crisp. Um, <laughs> we have our slices here and it looks like apple, doesn't it? And I have one here that I left, um, I kept back just to show you guys what it looks like and you can even eat it raw. Very crunchy. Slightly sweet taste. It's like an apple. Very good, even raw. Okay, so I have my pot on a medium flame and I'm just gonna add the Christophine to the pot. Then I'm going to add the apple juice. Basically, I'm gonna add all the ingredients and let it um, cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna add the brown sugar blend Splendor. Here's my apple pie spice and the reason why I'm adding this is because it will give it a more intense apple flavor because we want this to be our substitute for um, apples. So while it does have a mildly sweet apple flavor, we're adding the apple spice, um, spice just to increase that flavor. So I'm adding the apple spice. And I'm also going to add two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to let this cook for about, um, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes. And I will be right back because we are about to start making the crust. 